Hey kid. So welcome to my channel as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so in the past I will share with you the, the good the bad and the ugly so that you don't go shopping unnecessarily so that you know that the piece you're buying is something substantial something with longevity something with versatility to bring to light that you should focus on fabric fit and your style so when it comes to those other pieces of really really premium prices i also get intrigued i do and i love quality stuff so i bought this top it could be worn without the bow but i love bows i love the fact that the buttons are covered with the same fabric I love that beautiful cuff and the material is 100% silk so this is awesome it's a beautiful color the feel is really really great and it's weighty see you could throw it up and it comes down really quickly because it's nice and weighty so i love that i absolutely love this piece this is a piece that's perfect for my work wardrobe at the same time you have to pay attention to sizing when it comes to these high-end brands yes indeed it's beautiful and it's gonna look so great with this Frankie shop pants even the beige one as well I mean the possibilities are endless right cute cute right oh my god I could see it being worn like this even with this as well that's me I love to buy stuff that I could get to wear multiple ways it would look great wouldn't it oh my gosh look at this to look awesome oh my god guys this is so my style as mentioned you could wear like this it's really too hot for a try on right now but you have a sense ah beautiful and then actually you could wear like that in the summer and in the fall you just add a long waistcoat to it and i love doing that especially to workwear items look at this guys oh don't tell me this doesn't look cute you could leave this undone or you could tie it as well there you go it's gorgeous but what you need to pay attention to is the fact that 100% silk. It's very high maintenance. And for me personally, I don't do so well with maintaining silk. It's a lot of dry cleaning. If you do wash, you have to be very careful. So those are things that you have to keep in mind. So. I would add to not only the fabric, the fit, and the style, but also the care and maintenance. So those are some of the factors I always keep in mind when I'm buying high-end stuff. I have this piece, which 
I absolutely love. It has these gold button details. I love it. This is a piece I got from my friend Jackie. And it's beautiful. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. And the other piece I have is this gorgeous piece. I got this piece ages ago and every time I wear this piece I get so many compliments. I think it's just the fit of it as well as the pleated detail. It's just beautiful and it has covered buttons just like the Valentino one. So this is a great substitute. It's not silk. Here's another gorgeous detail it has. It has a zipper on the side. I love that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This definitely seal the decision to return the Valentino piece. If only I could go back in time I tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like The Valentino piece, it's actually a bit too short I don't like that This is perfect It's already in my wardrobe So, so yeah, that's the mindset to have Don't double up on items if you don't have to especially in a time of recession you don't need to buy new if you don't absolutely have to so yeah i hope that you have learned something and i hope that before you buy before you put in cart before you push that button before it ask you how do you wish to pay before you run before you Ask, where did you get that from? Always consider your style, lifestyle. Whenever you're buying an item, what do you look for? Fabric, fit, style, values, and maintenance as well as care. Those are very important when you are shopping. And when you get it, put it to the test. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you have learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll be able to do more of these by looking at some of the things that you are interested in buying and I could help you save some money by doing so. Keep your values in mind whenever you're also purchasing an item. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm losing, won't bother hiding my